Chopper. How are you? Can you sit real still? Should we do the rest of your exam? When I first heard about his entire case, the mass in his skull was incredibly extensive. It already had begun encroaching into both of his eyes. Good boy. Okay. And we said, well, wait a minute, why don't we use something like 3D printing? Is that something that we could use as a tool for us? So this was his mess before we did any type of surgery. And this is a complete replica. So this is totally scaled to his skull. Before 3D printing, this was as far as you got. You could kind of make a 3D image in the computer on the flat screen, but you weren't able to touch anything or do anything. So this is where our relationship with Pen Design came in, is that I can actually send this to them and they'll physically print me the exact model. We're very fortunate that we have a dentistry and oral surgery group. So we asked them for their input, what type of implants have they used? We then took it to our optho group and said to the ophthalmologists, I want to do as much mass removal as I can, but I don't want to damage what is there and is working for him. You can't have those conversations when there's active bleeding. You can't have those conversations when a patient's under anesthesia. By having this model ahead of time, could preempt where we were going to have problems and plan for those problems ahead of time. Thank you. We'll see you in six months. Okay, sounds good.